Hi, and welcome to lesson six in our phases of matter unit. We're going to start to look exclusively at gases and the behavior of gases, what we call the gas laws. And we're going to start the place where all gas laws start with this gentleman, Amadeo Avogadro, who was an Italian scientist and maybe a house elf lookalike, who figured out one of the major foundational mathematical relationships that describes the behavior of gases, what's called Avogadro's hypothesis, which is very simply that equal volumes of any gases at the same temperature and pressure will have equal numbers of molecules. Let's go in and take a look at this more in depth. The first thing I want you to do is consider a particular sample of a gas. Here's one liter of a gas. I've represented the particles of the gas at these five dots. My question to you is how can we increase the volume of the gas? There are really three things that we can do. The first is that we could increase the temperature. Increasing the temperature gives the particles more kinetic energy and causes the volume of the sample to increase. We could also decrease the pressure. That's going to decrease the force that's keeping those particles together and allow their overall volume to expand. And the last thing that we can do is just increase the number of molecules of the gas that we have. But what happens if we want to keep the temperature and the pressure the same? If so, the only thing that we can do in order to increase the volume of our gas is to increase the number of molecules. If we were to double the number of molecules, we would double the volume of our gas. If we were to have it, we would cut our volume in half. Admittedly, this is a little bit weird. It seems kind of strange that different gases can have the same number of molecules in the same volume. But you need to remember back to our ideal gas discussions and how we describe the behavior of an ideal gas. Kinetic molecular theory postulates that ideal gas particles have a negligible volume. If that's the case, that means that all particles of all gases have the same volume, which is negligible. So as long as temperature and pressure are the same, the volume of a gas sample only depends on the number of particles in that sample. Whether we have carbon dioxide or water vapor, if we're at the same temperature and pressure, we're going to have the same volume with the same total number of molecules. Mathematically, Avogadro's hypothesis can be described as follows. For any gas at constant temperature and pressure, the volume divided by the number of molecules of the gas is equal to a constant value. This also means that the product of the initial volume divided by the initial number of molecules of a gas is equal to the final volume divided by the final number of molecules of the gas. One quick thing that you might be a little confused about is why we've described the number of molecules as moles of a particular substance. This will become very, very obvious later on in this course. But for right now, what you need to understand is that individual atoms are just too tiny to deal with. And so in chemistry, we use a standard larger amount of matter, which we call a mole. Later on, you'll come to know and love the mole intimately. But for right now, all you need to understand is that one mole of a substance is a certain specific number of particles of that substance that is equal. So if I have one mole of carbon dioxide, or one mole of ammonia, or one mole of nitrogen, or one mole of water, it's always the same total number of particles in that sample. Let's take a look at an example that uses Avogadro's hypothesis this is on page eight of our unit three packet. So here are three gases at 298 degrees Kelvin and 101.3 kilopascals. We could point out that this is not actually standard temperature. It's actually room temperature or 25 degrees Celsius, but this is standard pressure. Not that it matters. The only thing that matters is that they're all under the same conditions of temperature and pressure. I have three questions for you that I'd like you to answer. Do they each contain the same number of molecules? Do they each contain the same number of atoms? And do they each have the same mass? Take a moment, pause the video, write down your answers, and then when you're ready, let's go through the discussion. So they absolutely do contain the same number of molecules. They're each equal volumes, and they're all under the same conditions of temperature and pressure. Avogadro's hypothesis tells us that equal volumes of gases under the same conditions of temperature and pressure have to contain equal numbers of molecules. They absolutely do not each contain the same number of atoms. Carbon dioxide is made out of three atoms, ammonia is made out of four atoms, and oxygen gas is made out of two atoms. So even though they have the same number of molecules, the fact that each molecule is made out of a different number of atoms means that they each contain different numbers of atoms in total. And finally, they do not have the same mass. The mass of each substance is going to depend upon the atoms that comprise that substance, and since each of these substances is comprised by different types and numbers of atoms, they're each going to be expected to have different masses as a result. Thanks so much for watching this discussion about Avogadro's hypothesis and how we can use it. Make sure that you can do the following here at the end.
Make sure that you can explain Avogadro's hypothesis at both the macro and atomic levels, at the level of many liters of a gas, and at the level of particles of the gas. Also make sure that you can use Avogadro's hypothesis to determine the relationship between the volumes of gases and the number of particles that they contain at the same conditions of temperature and pressure. If you can do both of those things, you're in great shape. If not, take a moment and write down any questions that you have. You can always leave them in the comments below the video, or you can always get in touch with me through the contact information in the info field. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day.